everybody. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Uh, Brittany had to work today. She doesn't work for a company that um, uh, observes Martin Luther King's birthday as a holiday for its employees. So, one thing about that is you probably didn't have to uh, drive in commuter traffic, but I don't know if I've told you guys this or not, but Brittany lives walking distance from her job. So, I guess if I were her, I would go to You know what, this hat not keeping Our gate is closed for entrance. So that's interesting. Uh, we're not going to walk super far today. We're just going to go, uh, you know, our usual way up to Haskell, walk to the vet center, and then. Um, gonna be rainy out here. I mean, why do I keep saying rainy? I guess I'm going to rain. Well, I can see the rain has, has, well, the rain that we did have, has totally saturated these little uh, blocks that you see here that have the tree uh, in it, all of these blocks along here. Uh, the rain water just kind of sat in there and uh, really got into the soil. As you can see, oh, that's the police pulling somebody over. As you can see, um, the grass is starting to come up in these little boxes. Very good. So uh, I guess I picked the wrong direction to go in since the police are right down the way there. Very interesting. So. Um, you know, I did some, some YouTubing yesterday. It, uh, I, I uploaded, uh, the video where we walked to Smart and Final Extra. And, uh, and that took a long time because the video, it was about, I don't know, 30 something minutes long. I think it was like 37. So that uh, took a long time to, well, you know, I was trying to get fancy with it. Is that a, no, I guess not. 
looked like a gopher pile. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, as far as, <laughs> um, oh shit, I didn't get to tell you about the YouTube videos. So, I, um, you know, we bought a whole chicken at um, Spartan Final. And, um, well, I decided I wanted to spatchcock the, kit, the chicken. And, well, I found out it's called spatchcocking. But basically, what you're doing is you're butterflying the chicken, uh, you know, so it cooks more even. And um, how you do that is you cut out the backbone of the chicken and then it just kind of opens up and then you flip it over and you kind of mash it down a little bit to break the breast bone. You know, it sounds really bad when I talk about it. You know, doing this to this poor little chicken, desecrating his his uh, lifeless body. I'm gonna stop right here because I kinda wanted to know what those cops had done. Look at all this is gonna need to be cut. All this grass over here. But it sure does look nice. All that rain we got was a good thing. A real good thing. So, um, I, I guess I probably mentioned, and you guys probably have seen, that I need some new gloves. Because the gloves that I'm using now, they got holes in the fingers. It's time for a new pair. And you know, I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff until times like now when I'm walking. Because that's really the only time I look at these gloves is when I need to, you know, go out into some cold weather. Anyway, uh, I haven't seen any coyotes. I usually... Uh, we'll see one or two. Well, uh, I say you usually see one or two, like if I ride with Brittany. But we didn't go anywhere um, this time. I didn't need to run any errands. And, you know, it kind of seemed like all she wanted to do was kind of relax and, you know, watch a little TV. So we did that. Pardon me. So I guess, like I said, nothing is open on base today. This is kind of disappointing. I like to go to the canteen sometimes and uh, and get breakfast. They have like a little breakfast special that you can get. But it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen today since they are closed um curious to know what this woman is going to do right here she uh she's walking the same way i'm walking but i'm gonna turn around i'm not walking on that dirt yeah i don't i tried that one time remember you guys that was crazy. And it wasn't raining that particular day, but uh, you know, it was still muddy because you know, the, the base, they water their grass and all this other crap. And uh, you know, that seeps down into the street. Okay, he says, I've been walking 10 minutes. So, yeah, that'll run off the base, 
into the sidewalk or like I said, the streets or whatever. Okay, so we'll stop here. It's the vet center, which is readjustment counseling for veterans. I've never been in here, guys. Maybe I should, maybe I should, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should sign up for some uh, services. It's cold out here. It's real cold. One thing about um, living where I live is um, the neighborhood. I love this neighborhood. Um, every once in a while, you know, to be some crazy shit jumping off. But uh, for the most part, it's a good neighborhood. And what's interesting is um, the neighborhood doesn't want uh, vets to live on this base. They had a, a couple of uh, community meetings which we are not invited to attend, but it's for the community. So people who live in the community are allowed to attend. So I've been to two community meetings. The first one was when I first moved here about three years ago. And the second one was after I had been here for about two years. Now, here's the deal. When I first moved here, uh, most of the people, uh, when I went to the first meeting, that's what I meant to say. Um, sorry about that wind, guys. Uh, when I first, the first meeting I went to, they had issue with um, guys from our unit, you know, our base or veterans that live on base where I live were coming off base and recycling. Now, they're not allowed to recycle on base. They're not allowed to do that. I guess the government is recycling. I don't know. But uh, so what these guys were doing is they would basically go off base and just spend all of their time going through the neighbor's garbage. And so people were complaining about that, saying that, you know, it's, it, well, I guess it is, it does make you feel a little uncomfortable when you look out your window and somebody is digging in your personal garbage. I know that uh, sometimes when I go down to take my garbage, um, sorry, I walked too fast. When I take my garbage down, uh, there's this one guy who, despite the rules, is still recycling in our garbage can. So his name is uh, John, I think. Yeah, his name is John. So basically, I go to take my garbage down, and his ass is in the damn dumpster. And, uh, you know, I don't want to put my garbage in there. I'm like, damn, boy, you scared the shit out of me. In the garbage can. So, needless to say, I didn't leave my garbage in that can. But, you know, what's to say that he didn't just climb into another one? 15 minutes. 
guess the thing is telling me every five minutes. I don't know if I wanted to do it that much. So uh, today, today I really got to get on a good foot. Um, Thursday, this is, okay, I didn't walk Friday. So I missed Friday and Saturday. And I walked yesterday, pardon me, and I'm walking today. So basically, I got my walk in for the day, but <laughs> I did not get up at 5 a.m. The reason for that is I didn't go to bed until 3. And then it took me about an hour to fall asleep. So I didn't get much sleep last night. I feel fine though. I feel really good. But uh you know I don't I don't know what to say about uh my sleep patterns. Uh I found this um, uh, hospital desk or a hospital table and uh, I thought that would entice me to set a bedtime and then adhere to it. I'm trying to, my eyes are trying to figure out what this is up, up ahead. I don't remember seeing this when I came out. Oh boy. Well, I did want to tell you guys, I didn't get out here until, well, it's probably eight or a little bit after eight, meaning a few minutes. But, uh, Hoping I didn't put my I didn't put my pedometer on. That's okay. Google Fit will will record my steps. You know, I always have to look. like to look make sure the coast is clear <laughs> make sure the coast is clear I wish I knew where that den was and then I could walk on base I wouldn't be afraid of these little four-legged fuckers and you know it doesn't help when I watch all of these uh, documentaries about wild animals. Um, remember, I told you guys I started watching um, Mountain Men. Oh, let's get this shit off of me. Well, yeah, I started watching Mountain Men and needless to say, you know, they're always, uh, always um, getting into something. They had like beavers that were trying to dam up their um, their drinking water. They had a source of drinking water and they were and you know the they didn't want the uh, the uh, beaver I guess beavers go in and they um and they, uh, good morning. The beavers go in and they damage, you know, when they make dams, they damage the, uh, the water. Apparently there's some kind of disease or bacteria in the water. Only 20 minutes? Well, that's gonna be it for today. 
Okay, so we remember that tomorrow. All right, you guys. Um, you know what? Let's walk over. I want to show you. Uh, show you where you got all these flags up. I always, I always tell you guys about it. The wrong phone. Man. So these pads out here in this walkway is very difficult to walk on. Um, the lady who lives here, she fell out there. She's out there at 11 o'clock at night trying to carry groceries. Huh. Crazy. Outside, at least. All right. I'll just go through. I just want to show you guys every holiday. Doesn't matter if it's a national, federal, if it has anything to do with the United States. They put these flags out. I would, I would walk you <laughs> down to uh, Plummer, pardon me, but um, the problem is, that's more water. show you guys a little bit later but it's not supposed to be very warm today and usually once I get in my place I'm in there I'll you know maybe go down to the computer room or uh, you know check on my counselor something like that but for the most part I stay right where I am. I love my place. And go back to the apartment. And hopefully, y'all don't see no dirty mess. sub-zero temperatures and he had to walk because his machine broke and he said the greatest feeling in the world to him was when you're cold and you get warm and this wave of warmth just kind of covers your body slowly he says the best feeling in the world. <laughs> so I'm about to experience that because I still got my blanket on the sofa. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Um, thanks for walking with me and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to share with your family and friends. Bye.